so I think we're going to start now. Um, I think we have more people sign up uh, already, so I think we can start uh, now. So thank you everybody for joining us. Can I just double check that everybody's listening to me well? Perfectly fine, good. Uh, so I'll start talking about a little bit about the University of Southampton and then I'll move on to the business school programs and the amazing scholarship that we have right now for, um, for business school. So I will, I will give a brief introduction about what we can study in the UK. So um, the UK has over 200 universities offering more than 50,000 courses. Quality education is very highly ranked and is globally uh, recognized. Satisfaction rates are really high for uh, UK universities. And it's very uh, known that UK universities um, Education involves a multicultural environment, plus you get to work, um, uh, sorry, you can get work experience and you can practice and even improve your English. So the UK university system is a bit different to the one in Mexico. Undergraduate programs can vary from three years or four or five years with an integrated master's. If you decide to study a master's on its own, uh, it usually lasts for one year if you're doing it full time, and PhD programs can vary from three to four years. So, how would you choose a university? First of all, the most important thing that you have to look for is the institutional quality. So, basically, if you're interested in doing education or research, in this case, uh, you're interested in business, then you look at uh, rankings for business schools, right? Uh, take a look at the courses that are offered in the each in, in each program, and that you, that can give you an idea if that will be a program that, we, that you'd be interested in studying. Also, location and size of the city that you will be leaving is also important. Um, staff in niche areas means if you're interested in a in a very specific topic, you can look at rankings. You can look at which professors teach at these universities, the kind of modules that you'll be taking. And nowadays, websites are really really useful because you can see all this information online. Uh, so student life is very interesting in the UK because it's not just about studying. There's lots of activities and social uh, events you can join. Uh, to meet other people. There's uh, leadership and volunteer opportunities. Usually universities like the one in Southampton has a lot of uh, different sport clubs. If you're into sailing, swimming, uh, rock climbing, um, even dancing, yoga, there's um, an option for everyone. Um, also, when you study in the UK, you're assigned an academic tutor that helps you throughout your whole studies. In case you have any kind of problem, uh, let's say regarding choosing a uh, module or personal problems, the academic tutor is there to guide you. It results really uh, useful when you're actually studying. So how would you apply for a, a master's program or a PhD? They would ask you for your Mexican licenciatura or a maestria from a university in Mexico with a minimum average of eight. On top of that, um, you would need official uh, and translated transcripts and certificates of your recent study. You'd also need um, a certificate of English, which is usually TOEFL or IBT. Uh, for business school, the TOEFL that we would ask you for is for 92 points, and the IELTS is for 6.5. We would also ask you for one or two letters of recommendation and a personal statement. For those of you who haven't ever written a personal statement, personal statement is like a motivation letter that you write to towards the university to demonstrate the committee that you're a good fit and needs to have um, a good structure, correct grammar, punctuation, academic English, it needs to prove or show evidence that you know about your subject area, that you're motivated to study a master's on this program, um, on this area, how you, you would fit the criteria to enter uh, these programs, how you fit the profile, and what are you hoping to achieve from this? So once you study your master's, what are you going to get from this? And how, it, how that is going to help in your career. So uh, this is the interesting part. Uh, uh, sorry, the cost of the programs usually varies depending on the program, even in the business school. It can vary from 19 to 24,000 pounds per year. 
uh, believe the most expensive program that we have is around four, 24,500, which is the, the MBA. But we have a really good scholarship. We also work um, with scholarships such as Conacyt, uh, FUNED, FIDER, or Chiefning. Um, so there's no longer an option. Uh, and also, we estimate living expenses around uh, 9,000 pounds if you're leaving outside London and inside London it's around 18,000, sorry, 11,000. Mm. So, you know, for those who haven't heard about the Evening Scholarship, applications are about to close. I would strongly recommend that you look at the website and look at the options uh, for funding. It's a really good scholarship as well. It's a fully funded scholarship. Um, by the British government. Um, I wanted to mention as well that there's a lot of support for international students, um, not just from your academic tutor, but um, there's also workshops for you to improve your English. Um, there's a GP usually on, on campus. In Southampton, we have a, camp, a GP, which is a, a doctor, um, and a, a counseling service if, if you're going through problems and you need to speak to somebody there's always somebody in campus that's um oh, sorry that's um available for you to talk to also we guarantee accommodation for all of our uh, international students we have a visa guidance team we have a career destination center they can help you arranging your your cv and making sure um if you're interested in getting an internship or any working experience while you're studying, that's also an option. Uh, the University of Southampton also offers the meet and greet service with, where they pick you up at the airport and make sure you arrive safe to Southampton. So you would usually fly to Heathrow or Gatwick, which are the two main airports in London. So they would come and pick you up and bring you all the way to Southampton for free just so you, you can feel a bit welcome and you don't feel as lost as you're arriving as you uh, to any country. So some universities offer the service and so do we. I'll talk more specifically about the University of Southampton. Um, we were founded in 1862 as the Hartley Institute where in the top 100 as the best universities in the world, we're in the eighth in the UK. We're a founding member of the Russell Group. The Russell Group is like the Ivy League University's version um, in the UK. Um, most of our programs are in, in very highly ranked. Um, some of our engineering programs are the top as the best um, in, in the UK and the world. And our research is internationally recognized. Uh, so we're known to be a very balanced uh, um, university between research and practice. So we have around 26,000 students from what 7,000 are international students coming from around 140 countries, um, around 300 Latin American students. Uh, we also have some in campuses, including one in Malaysia. And yeah, I wanted to mention that um, as, I, as I think it's important to, to look at the rankings and how our university is ranked. Uh, we're in the top uh, 10 in the UK for business management and marketing, according to the Guardian University Guide. Um, yeah, our marketing program was just ranked third. Uh, by the complete university guide for this year, for next year. So we have some programs in business schools, such as uh, we have accounting and finance, accounting and management, business analytics and finance, uh, analytics and management sciences, strategy and innovation management, digital business, or digital marketing uh, programs really um, popular, entrepreneurship and management. Um, we have an MBA um, that's also just one year and has three pathways. We also have a master's in finance, human resource management, international banking and financial studies, uh, international financial markets, um, international management, knowledge information systems management, marketing analytics, marketing management, um, project management, which is also a very popular program, risk and finance, risk management, and our last one, supply chain management and logistics. So. I wanted to mention our business school scholarships. So if you have an average grade between eight and 8.4 in your previous degree, you would get a 3,000 pound reduction of the fees. 
If you have an average grade of 8.5 or higher, you would get up to 5,000 pound reduction. For the MBA, is a bit similar, but it works with working experience, of years of working experience. So if you have three years of working experience, you get a reduction fee of 3,000 pounds, um, plus you get a 5,000 pound reduction of the fees. So these are combinable with the Conacyt uh, discount. So because we have an agreement with Conacyt, you would get an extra 30% uh, reduction of the fees. So most of our programs are around 20,000 pounds. That means that you would get minus a, let's say if you've got a nine in your undergraduate studies, then you would get um, 15,000 um, pounds with a reduction of the business school scholarship. And then you would get another 6,000 pounds reduction out of the 30% discount with Conacyt. Um, also, you can apply for the Conacyt Funet uh, Joint Scholarship, where Conacyt pays for your living expenses, you would benefit from the discount, and uh, you would get a loan from the remaining from Funet. Uh, on top of this, if you apply for the Funet Conacyt Scholarship, you would get £3,000 towards your tuition uh, by Conacyt. So you can come from 20,000 to 6,000 pounds, which is a really good deal. And plus, kind of, would pay for your living expenses. Um, so we we cover lots of different areas, but I'll skip this. Um, so I wanted to mention a little bit about the campus that we have. Um, so we have Highfield Avenue. Boulderwood, the National Oceanography Center in Southampton, the Southampton General Hospital, we have Winchester School of Art, and we also have a, a campus in Malaysia. Um, but Highfield is where the business school is, is where you'll be taking most of your modules. So um, we also, I also wanted to mention that we have lots of different activities around our campus. We have a student union. Um, basically, if you have any problems as well, one of your modules, or if you have any complaints about anything, you can come and speak to them. We also have uh, bars, we have a cafe, we have a pub in, in campus. We have um, a doctor. Uh, if you ever get ill, if you need treatment, uh, we have banks, we have shops, we have a sports center, a swimming pool, an art gallery, a theater, concert hall, cinema, um, which is way cheaper than actually going to the movies in the UK. It's around four pounds and going to the movies is around 12, 13 pounds. We also have yeah, comedy club, um, concert hall, these are just some pictures of how our campus looks like. Uh, the top left, we have the library, we have our life science building on the right. You might have some um, modules around this area. Um, on the bottom, that's one of our ships uh, where the university does research. Um, so these are other campuses like the Room campus engineering, we have a teaching hospital. These are just some of the parks um, that are on campus. They're really nice and have little lakes. Um, so I mentioned that we have lots of clubs and societies. We have the Mexican Society, Brazilian Society. Um, it's not just about culture societies, we have lots of um, sports, we have volunteering options, um, we have um, yeah, all kinds of sports that you can think of. Uh, we even have a Quidditch uh, society like the Harry Potter sport. We have dancing society, a, um, a salsa society, bachata. Um, so there's lots of options for you to join. Also, we have an entrepreneurship um, society that I think is really interesting. It's called Fish and Toast. So Fish and Toast uh, works with experts in setting up businesses. So if you uh, had an idea about a business or an app or something about technology innovation that you wanted to develop, uh, we have a study for that. Uh, we also have a model United Nations. Um, if you're into volunteering, um, we have Amnesty International. So we have lots of different options. Um, I mentioned that we guarantee accommodation for all international students if, uh, as long as they apply by August the 1st. 
we have ensuite rooms with, which um, they have a bathroom or we have options where the shared bathroom we have catered or non catered options um, this is how they look some of our um, halls we have city gateway which is around 10 15 minutes from campus we have mayflower which is right in the city center and it's about a 15 minute bus ride um, to the main campus we have wessex lane um, this is how they look on the inside there are some shared common spaces then we also have um, um, studios if you didn't want to share with anyone um, this is how the, the rooms look they usually have a desk um, and if you want to share a kitchen um, I wanted to show you this video I'll, I'll, I'll see please tell, tell me if you can hear it well or if it's too slow I'll just stop it and I can send it to you Oh, sorry. Can you hear now? Okay, sorry, you cannot hear the, the sound, um, but I could send the link to the video so you can have access to it. But that's basically how our campus looks. Um, images of the outside, the parks, the library, uh, some of the rooms, the lecture halls. Um, so, um, I'll talk to you a little bit about the city of Southampton for those who haven't heard about it before or haven't seen pictures or images about it. Um, so we are one of the top four cities to live in Britain. This is one of, of the most affordable student cities in England. Um, it's, it's really, I, I really liked it when I was doing my master's there because it's really close to London. Uh, if you wanted to skate for, you know, a big city experience, but then it's really, it's a really cozy city, I would say. It's a very student-led um, city. It's also by, by the water, so it's really nice to go and see the yachts, to go sailing, all these kind of activities that you can have um, where, when you're by the sea. Uh, it's one of the sunniest and greeniest cities in the UK. I know that sunny and green isn't, well, sunny doesn't sound like it should go with the UK on the same sentence, but the further south you go in the UK, the sunnier it gets. So um, last summer we had an amazing summer. We had three months of, of no single drop of rain, which was really nice. Um, 
which I know it also seems incredible considering it's the UK. This, we're just over an hour from London, so um, but yeah, the further south you go, the, the sunnier it gets. Uh, we have a very rich history. We were a Roman port, uh, so, so it was also a very medieval uh, town. We're a cruise ship with the cruise ship capital of Europe. There's a lot of ferries that leave Southampton to um, other parts of, of Europe, such as France, such as Spain. It's just over an hour from London, as I mentioned. Uh, we have airport links. We have a very small airport. We do have one. We have a population of 250,000 people. Um, so this is how the Southampton docks look. We, as I mentioned, we have a lot of cruise ships coming to to Southampton, stopping for a couple of days. Um, and a fun, as a fun fact, the the South, uh, sorry, the Titanic left the Southampton docks in 1912. Um, and um, yeah, so as I mentioned, we're just over an hour from London, and then we have Wales in around two and a half hours, um, Manchester in yeah, over four hours. It's really easy to travel. There's lots of little towns that you can um, choose to go to on a week, um, sorry, in a weekend or just on a day trip. Um, so we're right here, but then we have lots of different lots of different cities we can visit. So Brighton's, it's a bit in less than, you know, two hours you're there. It's a really nice beach. We have Portsmouth, we have Bournemouth, which is a sandy beach. It's just over, yeah, 20 minutes by train. We have Exeter, we have Bath, Bristol, Cardiff, Reading, London, as I mentioned, Winchester is right here as well. So there's lots of cool things to do around. Uh, Southampton, you can take on a, on a, on a day trip if they come, they come back. Um, I also mentioned that we have, we have a main, uh, sorry, we have an airport that connects to lots of different destinations on a direct flight, such as Spain, Italy, uh, Portugal, Germany. Um, but we also have a direct train to Gatwick, which is the main Air, uh, one of the main airports in London. We also have a bus to Heathrow. So if you wanted to travel as well, because it's not just about studying. Um, it's also a very convenient location. Um, so this is uh, the Bargate. This is an iconic city center um, building. Then we have the Tudor House on the right, on the top. Um, it's, it's a museum, but it's called the Tudor House, or we can see a bit of history there. And then on the bottom, we have the docks and where the yachts um, are parked. It's, it's a really nice view. Uh, then we have the guild hall as well. We have concerts, we have an art gallery. Um, we also have lots of um, festivals and concerts going on. There is a festival in the Isle of Wight, which is really close uh, to Southampton as well. We have lots of uh, theater, uh, lots of art exhibitions, if you're interested in that as well. Um, the city center. We also have um, a stadium if you're into football at all. We have a Southampton team, the Saints. Um, we have, um, yeah, lots of sailing uh, opportunities and activities in Southampton. The university also has a sailing club um, where you can join. But also if you went into travel, as mentioned, in a week, on a week trip, the new four is about 30 minutes from Southampton. Now we have Portmouth Beach, which is really nice. It's a sandy beach and in summer it gets really nice. And then the, here on the right and the bottom, we have the Isle of uh, Wight. These are called the Needles. It's this really nice view. Um, you can take a boat ride as well uh, from Southampton to the Isle of Wight. We can take a ferry. Um, and then on the left, we have Winchester, which is this very nice medieval town that was just, um, sorry, it's just over 20 minutes from, from Southampton. And we actually have a campus there, Winchester, Winchester School of Art. It's, it was once the capital of England, so it's really nice. It's a really nice place to visit. And uh, that was everything on my end. I don't know if anybody has 
um, any questions um, about a specific program, but this is also, I wanted to leave you my email if you wanted to contact me and have a Skype call uh, for any specific questions um, or about the cost of the programs, the combination of the scholarships. Um, does anybody have any questions? Okay, so I think nobody has any questions. Uh, Fabiola? There is a question. Uh, they are asking, is the monthly scholarship from FUNED enough for living expenses? Okay, so the way it works is that Conacid pays for your living expenses. They give you 770 pounds a month, and I can tell you that that is enough. The cheapest rent I've seen in Southampton is 250 pounds, which is a very good um, price. But uh, you can, it all depends on your lifestyle as well. But I can tell you that it's enough to go to like transportation, rent, food wise. Um, so, so yes. Uh, FUNED wouldn't give you, wouldn't pay for the expenses, CONACYT would, if you apply for the FUNED CONACYT joint call. Um, but yeah, CONACYT will give you £3,000 for your tuition and would pay £770 every month uh, for your living expenses. We have another question. It says, how does a payment for uni work? Can it be paid in installments? And so, how does that work and how many installments? So, yes, you can pay in three different installments. So, the first one is not until you arrive the first month. And then the second one is around March. And the last one is around June, July. So, you have three different installments to make your payment. Or you can also pay in one go. But I'm guessing it's more convenient to make it in three. So once you would get all the discounts from the university, so I would say on average, there are some programs that are 19,000, there are some programs that are 20, 21, except the MBA, the MBA is 24,500, but all the other ones vary in price. So you would get, if you get average grade of 8.5, you get 5,000 pounds. On top, you get the discount from Conacyt, if you apply to Conacyt Funet, because we have an agreement with them, then you would get another 6,000 pound reduction, and then the 3,000 pounds that kind of seed pays towards living expenses. So some programs can, can, I mean, again, it varies a thousand pounds more or less, but from 20,000, it can go up uh, as low as 6,000 pounds, plus having living expenses paid, which is a very good deal. And then um, you can have those uh, 6,000 uh, pounds deferred in um, yeah, the three different installments to pay. Uh, but yeah, you would get the loan from FUNED for, the, for that amount. We have another question. It says, could you explain the difference between the digital marketing and the marketing management programs? Um, I probably wouldn't be uh, as good as giving you details about the differences, but uh, what I can do is I can put you in, uh, in charge. If you send me an email, sorry, I can put you in contact. Uh, if you send me an email with your contact details, I can put you in contact with the head of these programs, um, the head of the business school, and they can give you more details about the main differences. Um, yeah, it might not be uh, an expert on this, but um, but yeah, if you send me an email to uh, that address that I that I was showing on the screen, I can put you in contact with the head of the business school program, and they can be, I think, of more help. I hope it was useful. She says yes. If Great. anybody has any more questions. Please write them in the chat and I will read them for you.
Um, anybody else have a question? It seems we are going to get another question. They're going to write it down right now. Okay. Is somebody's asking, what are the careers you have right now? Sorry, what are the? The masters that you have now. Sorry, you, you were cutting off. Could you repeat the question? Okay, is somebody's asking, what are the masters? Like, I, I assume these are the options. Like, what options of masters do you, do you have now? So um, let me go to the presentation within the business school, right? We cover lots of different areas, but these are so far the ones that we have. Uh, so yeah, these are the ones that we have within business school. Um, this, all of these options. So all of these options could benefit from the scholarship and the discount. Uh, was that your question? This person is asking about big data. Uh, we have it, but it's under computer science. It wouldn't go um, in business school. But again, if you sent me an email, uh, I can send you the program with all the modules. Um, we have one about data analytics, but it's under uh, a different faculty, not in business school. Yeah, was that the question? I have no reply. Uh, if somebody has another question, please write it down. Anybody else has a different question? It seems we have no more questions. Uh, so I would like to thank everybody for assisting this session. And thank you very much, Cecilia, for this. I think it was very helpful. Uh, everybody has Cecilia's data. But also uh, remember that in, in Innova, we can help you through your whole process from the, uh, from the application to the university through to the visa process. So please let us know if we can help. Thank you uh, very much for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you, Fabiola, for hosting this event. Um, and yeah, so I have you have my email address. In case you have any questions about um, wanting to know more information, please do send me an email, and I can put you in contact. If I don't have the answer, I can put you in contact with the head of the programs, so they can better explain that to you. And Thank you to my colleagues from Innova. They're very, very useful uh, research to have when you're applying to universities. If you have any question, they can apply to you, uh, sorry, to the universities uh, on your behalf and even help you with the visa uh, application and everything. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us tonight and um, hope I hear from you soon. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to meeting now. Have a good night.